Manalpin, New Jersey, a town filled with any kind of person you could imagine, from nerds to jocks, soccer moms to burnouts. Well, once in a while, a group comes along with the potential to change the world. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Crap, get away! <laughs> And that group is not these guys. In fact, they are the Nerd Who Ate St. Louis, a six-piece ska rock outfit from the doldrums of suburbia, ready to kick out the jams for anyone who feels like listening. The band's a pretty strange bunch, as if you already couldn't tell. Let's get to know them a bit. Vincent St. John, vocalist of the Nerd Who Ate St. Louis. So, Vincent, what are your thoughts about Manalpin, and how has it impacted starting a band? Manalpin, it's a lot like other towns around here. There's a lot of people here who act a certain way that the members of this band don't necessarily agree with. And so it's just kind of being in a band has helped us stay friends together, even though we're surrounded by people who we despise. Brian, your thoughts? Well, the main reason I wanted to start this band is because I didn't really want to go to college. Because, like, college is stupid. It's just former years of work. and. I don't really like to work, and if I'm in a band, then I can just play drums, and it's good. And then I can take my parents' college tuition money that they gave me, and I can spend it on, like, crack and Taco Bell. So that's pretty cool. Another reason I like play playing in the band is because we get to play in public, and whenever you play in public, it's fun to see the people's reactions to Edie's ugly face. Brian Edie, bassist of the Nerd Who Ate St. Louis. So, tell everybody about the infamous pot pie incident. What pot pie incident? The pot pie incident. <clears throat> oh, alright. Oh, yeah. Alright, so, the news recording. And, I'm gonna be sauce at that shit. So, Vinny. Okay. Anyway, so he was recording. It was one of our best versions of Bonus Pretzel. I believe it was Bonus Pretzel. So, we're playing. We're in the middle of a song. It was very, we're doing pretty good. And all of a sudden, I forget that I had a pot pie go in the oven. I was like, oh, crap. Yeah. So I went downstairs and got it. Anyways, so Justin, <laughs> how does being in two completely different bands enhance your musical perspective? It makes me better than the rest of you. All right, Justin. Um, anything else you'd like to say about the band? Yes. Well, Vincent <laughs> waves the duck. All right, what do you want to say, man? I want to say... The Garrett's right there! Go away, Garrett! No one likes you! Kingdom. Lauren Galino, trumpet player of the Nerd Away St. Louis. So, you're the newest member of the band. What has your experiences been like so far? Um, they've been different. I can imagine. When you're <laughs> this is why Lauren's afraid of the band, guys. Alright. The band had many interesting would-be trumpet players before arriving to Lauren, however. I suck! The band found their first show at the CHS Coffee House. Visual the nerd is one quacking duck. Journalism. I'm in St. Louis. The song's called Bones Present. After rising frustrations, I need peace and quiet. How am I supposed to write music? Into the, life. the band decided it would be best to go in a new direction. St. Louis, we decided to be a hardcore band, so now we're the nerd who killed St. Louis. What? Wait! 
Hey, and all them leaves fall. <laughs> this hardcore disaster would fortunately last the excruciating time period of one practice. Ultimately, the band has a long road ahead of them, but it looks to be an enjoyable one, that's for sure. One of our songs, our first original song as a band, is about Pac-Man. Um, that one really has a lot of uh, meaning in, in my own heart. I